Right now, we're gonna look at three small glide baits at three different price points to find out which one is worth it. If you like this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button and become part of the family. We're gonna look really close at each lure. We're gonna look at an Amazon lure, an Amazon glide bait kit, and then we're gonna look at a Thunderhawk Cha-Cha Glide, and the top of the one is a Jean Craft glide bait. All are fairly small. We're gonna look at the hooks and the components. We're gonna look at the action of the bait. We'll look at the paint. We'll look at the price. And then we'll also look at the sink rate. And hopefully after that, you can make an educated, educated decision and figure out which one you think is worth it. So our first glide bait is from Amazon where you get three baits for $17.99 or $5.86 per lure. The Amazon Go Tour is 6.89 inches in length, weighs 1.87 ounces, and has some really good components. The hooks are big and sharp. It offers 3D eyes and paint. It has pretty good action considering it's $5.86 and it's a slow sinking lure. So one of the things you'll notice about the Amazon lure is it has stainless steel hooks, but they are big, sharp, and have, they are beefy. They're not gonna break down on you. The paint is decent, the eyes are nice, the scaling on the bait is good too. And the one thing I really like about it, I like the flake in the tail, and the tail is soft plastic. But going with the action too, I wouldn't say the action is great. The action is drastically different than the, the Thunderhawk lure, but it's still decent on a steady retrieve. The first glide bait was probably the K&K Minnow in 1906. Today, there's a bunch made by hard bait manufacturers, but some of the best are made in garages, kitchens, and basements by avid designers. And one of the K&K Minnows in a decent box brings over $5,000. The Thunderhawk Cha-Cha Glide is $15.99. It comes in 17 colors six inches and one and a half ounces. It's slightly smaller and lighter than the Amazon, but it suspends really well. And when you have someone like Jerry Ragu, who is known for making great baits, this is really a positive. This is a bait that's very easy to use for the everyday angler. You can do it on a steady retrieve or make twitches of your rod that'll make that bait just have a giant S curve in the in the water the hooks are black nickel hooks that are very good the components on the bait are is phenomenal the bait has great paint it has great scaling and the eyes are 3d realistic too fun fact number two it's widely recognized as one of the best the hinkle glide bait can set you back seven to eight plus hundred dollars and it's not painted and then our third one is the Jean Craft Jointed Claw, which starts at $65.99. It's a slow sinking lure that's five and three quarter inches and is one and a half ounces. The hooks are exceptional. They're owner stinger trebles, and it has a real narrow S-curve action. If you can, you can either stop and go, have a steady retrieve, or a slow jerking retrieve to make this bait work. So with the Jean Craft, the paint is exceptional. The bait really looks realistic. It has a soft plastic tail that is uniform, has scaling patterns. And on, out of all three of these, this is the best looking bait to the average eye. Now, when you bring it into the water, it's where it's a little bit different. I don't think this has a real big S curve, S motion action. I think that it has a really good action as a steady retrieve and just slight twitches. The hooks and components are all top notch. Actually, the front hook is a little bit bigger than the, the back hook and they are black nickel. Overall, this is a great looking bait, realistic, great size, great action, great fall rate, but not my favorite in just keeping it real. So which one are you buying? That's what I want to know. Are you buying the Amazon kit for $17.99 or $5.86 a lure, where you have to buy three? Or are you buying the Thunderhawk Lures Cha-Cha Glide or the Jean Craft Jointed Claw for $65.99? Tell me in the comments below which one you prefer. Thanks again for watching this and thanks again for hitting that like and subscribe button. Comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll see y'all soon. Cheers.